Yeah, I just got out of church and I was thinking that what only what you do for Christ is going to last. I I am very uh, sensitive to the spirit of God, the spirit of Yah. Um, I only move when God say move. And any major decision I make in my life, I always see God because I don't want to be nowhere that God did not place me. There's a difference for being in the permissive will of God and in the perfect will of God. What is the permissive will of God? The permissive will of God is God allowed you to be where you at because that's where you want it to be. You, did, you didn't really seek him or ask him where he wanted you to be, but you picked and you chose what you wanted to be or what you wanted to do or what your flesh wanted to do. That's the permissive will of God. He allowed you to be there, even though it's not his perfect will that you be where you at. But the perfect will of God is doing everything God tell you to do, being sensitive to the spirit of God and whatever he uh, wants you to do. Uh, uh, um, you got to, it's, it's nothing like being in the perfect will of God because hallelujah, just like Elijah, when Elijah killed uh, the 450 false prophets of Jezebel and, and 400 to sit at Jezebel's table, after Jezebel found out that uh, Elijah killed her false prophet, the Bible said that she sent out a hit on him and said, by this time tomorrow, I'm going to kill you like you killed my false prophets. You know, she she didn't say they was false prophets, but that's what they was. She said her prophets. And the Bible said that Elijah ran. He was scared of one woman. And he ran over 700 and some miles out the way, running from Jezebel. And the Bible said that he ran into the wilderness, he ran into the mountains, and he hid, and he cried out to God, you know, and then there was an earthquake, but God wasn't in the earthquake, and a strong wind, and if God wasn't even in that, there was storms, them was trials, them was demonic spirits that come to attack Elijah, but God, God spoke to Elijah and said, Elijah, in a still small voice, matter of fact, he spoke to Elijah, he said, Elijah, what are you doing here? Hallelujah. That's the permissive will of God. He allowed him to go to the mountains, to the cave. God allowed that. But that wasn't the will of God for Elijah to go to the cave. And Elijah started to talk to the God of Israel. And he said, he told, he pleaded to God and cried out. He said, God, they didn't kill all the prophets. And I'm the only prophet left. And now they're trying to kill me. And the word of the Lord came unto Elijah and said, Elijah, this was a still, small voice. Now, Elijah all upset, probably hollering. But God came in a still, small voice and said, Elijah, what are you doing here? What I'm saying, that you don't want to be out the will of God. He went almost 800 miles out the will of God. Hallelujah. And what did God tell him? After he told him, Elijah, what you doing here? He said, now go back down. He had to go all the way back. Go back down to Jezreel and anoint a new king over Israel. What I'm saying? He still had to get back on track. Some of you then got off track with God because you did what your flesh wanted to do. You did what you, your body wanted to do. You did what your own desires wanted to do. You didn't see God, but you did what you wanted to do. And God permitted it. That was the permissive will of God. But eventually, to get back on track, you're going to have to get back in the perfect will of God. You may lose some years. You may lose some miles like Elijah. Elijah lost some miles and had to go all the way back to Jezreel to still do God's will to know a new king over Israel. So what I'm saying, try to stay in the perfect will of God, not just the permissible will of God. I don't do nothing unless I get word from God because some storms and trials come in your life because of disobedience. Storms and trials come in your life because you try to do it your way instead of you doing it God's way. Whatever God tell me to go, I'm going to go. The Bible said that the word of, came, came, the, the word of the Lord came into uh, 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 Jonah, the son of Amittai. He said, go down to Nineveh and preach against the city. And tell them yet in, I think, 30 days, I'm going to kill everybody up in here. Because of the evil that come before the Lord eyes. And the Jonah disobeyed God. He Instead of him going to Nineveh like God told him to, he ran down the drop and he board uh, 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 the ship headed for Tarshish, running from the presence of the Lord, running from what God told him to do. 
And what happened on that ship? Storms was on that ship. And they ended up throwing Jonah overboard in a, a, a well. A big fish swallowed him. He was in the belly of that fish for three days and three nights in the darkness, in the belly of a fish. And he, he cried out to God and repented. No doubt he told God, I do what you tell me to do. And God had that fish vomit Jonah on, line, or on, on land. And a three days journey, uh, 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 the prophet Jonah made a three days journey in one day. No doubt he was running. It made a three days journey in one day. He was ready to obey God because of the storms that came out of your life. What I'm saying, get in the perfect will of God and not just in the permissive will of God. Be what God wants you to be, not what your flesh wants you to be. Always see God and get direction from the master. God have always had the most perfect advice. Even Abraham. When Sarah told Abraham, get that bondswoman Hagar and they son out of him. He's, they not the child of promise. Abraham was sad because the, uh, um, uh, Ishmael was still his son, but it was by their servant Hagar. And his wife, uh, 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 Sarah said, get out of here. But what did Elijah, what did Abraham do? Abraham prayed to God. And, and, and no doubt he cried out to him, say, I, I love my son Ishmael too, but my wife want me to throw Ishmael out and Hagar. And that's my son too. He went to God for advice and God gave him counsel. God is the, the he, he, he's a great counselor. Hallelujah. And God told uh, Abraham, go ahead and send Ishmael and Hagar away. I'm going to make them a great nation too. But Isaac is the, is the son of promise. What I'm saying, stay in the perfect will of God and not just the permissive will of God. I'm losing friends. I'm losing people I trust. People turning on me that I don't even know what I did to hurt them. But you know what? God is moving people out the way and he putting the right people in my life that his will may be done. And it may hurt me. To go down the path that God want me to go down. But as long as I am on a journey and in the perfect will of my God. What I'm saying. If you don't remember nothing else I said. Don't just be in the permissive will of God. Doing what you want to do. Not what God wants you to do. But be in the perfect will of God. And don't ever follow the crowd. Follow the spirit. The ruach. The spirit. The ruach hakodes. The Holy Spirit. Follow the spirit of God, because being in the perfect will of God, you could plan to be blessed. God bless you. This is Avengers Vivian Williams, and you're sure follow, telling you, stay in the perfect will of God, not just the permissive will of God, so you can be truly blessed, and God could be pleased with your life. Your Verekaka Adonai Vis Israeleka. Your Er Adonai Panavaleka Vakaneka. Your Sai Adonai Panavaleka Velisha Shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and grant you peace. In the name of the Prince of Peace, Yahshua HaMashiach. Stay in the perfect will of God, not just the permissive will of God. Walk in the perfect will of God and be blessed. God bless.